probably like, Alaska, why are you dressed as a literal toddler right now? That's a good question. That's because in today's video, I'm going to be building a Bloxburg house that only toddlers can use. Meaning a normal house, except normal people can't use it. Only toddlers can. Hashtag toddler rights. So this video was inspired by Brampies, and I thought this would be such a cool idea to put like my own little twist on it, especially with all the new updates. So let's see how this turns out. Oh my gosh, I cannot. Look how small I am. Okay, so there's two ways we can do this. We can either make it like out of walls, but I feel like this is too big. You know what I mean? So or we can make it out of basic shapes. Like it's only gonna be a small house. I don't know if this is gonna work though. We can test it out. Also, I don't know how tall the house is gonna be. Wait, let's see if this is tall enough. Okay, wait, we can make that work. Okay, yeah, I feel like that's definitely tall. Why do I look like that when I jump? Okay, so I guess this is the height we're going to be working with. Also, the reason I'm doing this is because in babies and kids, there's literally so many furniture items. For example, look at this kitchen. I'm definitely going to be adding that. Okay, so first things first, we actually have to get the layout of this house done. I think I'm going to do like a traditional cubby house style. So something like this. I don't even know how big I want this. Maybe like three blocks. It can be three. Also, I really want like a front porch. Like I feel like a front porch would look so cute. If this genuinely works i'm gonna be so excited i want two windows at the front of the house so all i'm gonna do to make this work is just add transparent cubes and then put a basic cube on top of this actually you know what my problem is i feel like the windows need to be more on the edge oh my gosh i cannot right now it feels like i'm doing hardcore maths over here wow thank god for the transform tool because i don't know what i would do without it wait moment of truth we have to see if we can walk through here oh, wait wait it's looking good oh perfect look at that we can walk through our house amazing okay so we've got the little porch done i just realized I have no idea how I'm gonna make this roof work. I also need to map out like the structure of these windows. I'm just gonna do this by adding small square beams. Okay we've got the windows mapped out and oh my gosh it's looking so cute. Oh my god I also just realized I can copy this entire thing. Now one thing I really want to add on this porch is like a roof and some pillars. Now for the roof this is gonna be the tricky bit because I genuinely don't know how I'm gonna make a roof. All I know is that I want this top of the roof slanted. I want the patio to have a straight roof like this. Wait, unless I have a little patio here that's just above the door. Wait, can I use pillars? Okay, so what I wanted to do was add pillars just beneath this patio, but I feel like it's too thick. So I'm just going to go in with basic shapes. See, good old basic shapes come in handy. Here we go, our cute little patio. Wait, should I add a fence? To be honest, I don't even know how I would add a fence. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. If it works, it'll turn out amazing. If I add these vintage candles at the end of the patio and paint everything black, including the wicker so it doesn't let off any light. So one there, one there, boom, bam, shablam. Okay, so a bunch of candles like this. And then if I go into structurals and use a standard square beam and put it above the wicker. Oh, wait, I think it kind of works. Hold on, I might have to make the beam smaller though. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of working a little bit. Okay, you know what? It looks cute. And I'm going to definitely use this building hack one day, but not today. I feel like this patio doesn't need any fences. Also, I need to map out where and how big am I going to make this house? I think I only want it like two by three. Like I want it to be very, very small. Just like a typical dollhouse. Because I mean like what do toddlers even need? And then maybe on this wall we can add two big windows. I say big windows, I mean tiny windows. Little toddler windows. Okay, so maybe two like that. Now I just have to fill in these gaps by adding basic shapes. Guys, you wouldn't think a toddler's house is like super expensive because everything is tiny. But think about it, everything in this house is mostly made out of basic shapes. Like it's gonna be one expensive house. Okay, take your predictions in the comments below. How much do you think this toddler's house is going to be? I think it's going to be 87,000. That's my prediction. Okay, we've got one last gap in the middle and there we go. So now I just have to outline these windows again, just like what I done at the front. Oh wait, I should probably do this on the outside because you can't really see it from the inside. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see how this toddler's house is going to turn out. If you guys know me, if you guys watch my videos, you know how much I love tiny homes. Like forget big mansions, you know tiny homes is my go-to, always. Luckily, I can just copy this and then add it on this side and oh my gosh this one wall this one miniature tiny wall is 2100 like god damn these toddlers be living in luxury oh there we go very cute why does this kind of look like a dog house wait do i give this toddler a bathroom okay i have to figure out where these rooms are gonna go you know what we can make the bathroom this little one block they can have a one block bathroom look how nice these wooden planks look okay and then for the bathroom we're just gonna stick to tiles should a toddler's house even have tiles what if it like slips over okay so we're gonna have to make a wall okay the wall kind of goes through this 
this window, but oh well, the toddler's just gonna have to suck it up. Wait, this wall here is actually a perfect space to add a TV. Also, I can't add doors. This kid, this toddler just doesn't have to have doors. Okay, you know what? This toddler's just not gonna have any doors in their bathroom. No privacy, but oh well. You know what? We'll make it work. We will make it work. We shall prevail. Okay, now for the roof. This is gonna be the tricky bit because I haven't tested this out before. Ignore that weird floating cube in the background. I think I'm gonna do like a gable roof here. Okay, wait. I think it's coming along. I think we just have to make these a little bit more taller. Oh my gosh, we're so close. We are so close. Wait, wait, wait. Moment of truth. Boom gable roof not really but kind of we're getting there so we're gonna have black tile roofs and then obviously we can't leave this hollow because right now it's kind of looking like a bird cage so we're gonna have to fill this in um guys <laughs> i just realized how on earth am i gonna place furniture in here Look, this is my view by the way this is my view how am i gonna do this okay scratch everything the roof can be last we have to work on the inside first that is so funny can you imagine if i finished the roof and then i had to delete it okay now obviously one thing this house is missing is a door obviously there's no toddler size door so we're just gonna have to do our own diy door literally just by placing a cube on an angle like this and that way it kind of looks like the door is just like swung open oh and we can't forget our little doorknob wait this house definitely needs a doorbell please tell me i can place a doorbell oh my gosh yes i can place a doorbell guys okay this is amazing we're gonna have the doorbell right there like that i feel like we need a few flowers at the front but these pots are way too big okay you know what maybe instead of pot plants we can have these oak shelves underneath the windows because i really want to place flowers on top of them okay so a few hanging plants on these oak shelves i love how the leaves just go inside of the ground see that is looking adorable so let's go work on the inside first thing we need to do is figure out where like the lounge room is gonna go so if we go into baby and kids as you can see they have a ton of furniture they even have these pencil chairs they're tiny oh my they really are tiny that's perfect maybe we can have that for like the dining table okay but before anything i really want to have a tv on this wall there's these tiny square simple desks organizers so if i just place these at the bottom and then we add a tv now typically i would use this tv oh whoa that is huge okay so to make this work we are gonna have to use the smallest tv which is this Acutus 20. I don't, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Okay, so we just place the TV like this. There you go. We got a little TV moment going on, which means I guess like this section here can be the living room. I don't know. Do they have little baby chairs? Tiny tot chairs. Oh, that's so cute. But we need something more comfortable, like something you'd see in a lounge room, but like for kids. Oh, <gasps> kids beanbag. Okay, so instead of lounges, we're going to have beanbags. You know what? Stop having this in a toddler's house. I want this in my house. And we can also make this like a nice carpet texture and there we go a few little bean bags we might even add a carpet as well we're gonna have to make this carpet very small though hopefully it'll fit in the house wait oh it will perfect and we also need a welcome mat it's way too big though oh wait we can resize it guys look how tiny that welcome mat is like this is the size of the tiny welcome mat and then this is the size of like the actual regular sized welcome mat okay so living room i have to remember though we have to add lighting so i think we're gonna have to stick with table lamps because we can't use overhead lighting wait look it's a little alphabet lamp wait that is the cutest thing i've ever seen in my life guys count how many times i've said cute in this video wait what's this crafty kiddo beginner easel what is this this is so i'm adding this there's so many things i want to add that's going in the corner <laughs> every time i see something kid related we are adding it now this tv is definitely missing something up the top we can go into photos and add these taped photographs oh we also need a table but something really small you know what i think we're just gonna have to make our own custom made table so if we go into vertical cylinders and place that here then if we have advanced placement we can have a very very tiny coffee table and you know what i'm gonna have on this coffee table milk so i'm pretty sure if we go into bottles there's these oil bottles and if we paint them white they look exactly like milk tell me that doesn't look exactly like a little milk carton okay my only problem is i think i'm gonna have to make this house a little bit more bigger because i don't think we're gonna be able to fit the bedroom okay let me just make this layout a little bit more bigger and then we can continue you guys remember back in the day when i said i'm not gonna make this toddler's house too big i may have made it into a toddler mansion i was not expecting to go this big you know what i want the very best for my child so i added a whole another room here so this is where the kitchen's gonna be and this is gonna be the bedroom we've also got this massive entry area space i don't know what a kid's entry area would possibly need i guess we can have a few toys because i mean it is a toddler's house
house. We can have our plushie collection in this corner. What if I can fit this kid nightstand in this corner? And then we can have a few plants, but I don't know which plants to add because they're all very tall. As you can see, the plant will literally go through the roof. Oh, there's this mini sapling plant. Oh wait, that's kind of perfect. Look at that. These are plants that I would typically use for decoration, but I mean, they fit like a normal plant in this house because everything is so small. I guess maybe we can work on the bathroom next. Okay, so if we go on to kids, they definitely have a training potty. So we're 100% gonna add that over here. And we definitely need a sink, but I don't know if a sink's gonna fit in here. Wait, unless I do something, hold on. Okay, if we make this a basement, put a basic shape in here and then we lift her up. Okay, what would happen if I put a sink on this basic cube? Okay, let's have a look. Oh my gosh, it works. It's a little bit funky, but it definitely works. It's just like a very mini sink. Okay, now obviously we can't forget toilet paper. This toilet paper is bigger than the actual toilet. Like, look at this. And we also need like a shower or a bath. Okay, you know what? We're not actually gonna add a toilet or a shower in this bathroom because one, uh, safety hazard. So no bath, no shower. Okay, so the next thing we have is this kitchen. Now, I know for a fact they definitely do have a toddler's kitchen. Oh, they do. They have this little toddler kitchen, which is perfect because we'll just add it along this wall. I feel like marble would look really nice. So I'm like marble and gold. Damn. Okay, look at that kid's kitchen. Are you kidding me? Excuse me, but why do my kitchens never turn out that good? Okay, now we need to add the dining table. There's these pencil chairs and they also come with a pencil table and that's what we're going to use for the dining table. Um, excuse me, for a little mini chair for a little mini person, why is that $275? These chairs better be made out of gold for that much money. And I don't know, do we add an island bench? I guess we can add a little island bench. I don't see the harm in doing that. Okay, we're just going to use a basic shape for this island bench. That way I can customize it and make it as big as I want. Okay, so that's the kitchen and the dining room done. Okay, so the last room we have is the bedroom. Okay, now I can either use a crib, which will take up the majority of the bedroom, or I can make my own custom made bed. Okay, as much as I love this crib, I don't like how it takes up so much room. And we also have to remember that I'm going to be adding the roof. So there's not going to be like much room to actually get into the crib. So I might get rid of it and instead just make my own bed. So we're going to put a smooth cube down like this. And then we go in with some blankets and just put that at the end of this little bed. Probably not too many pillows because isn't it like not safe for toddlers to have like access to pillows? And then we need a table, which is perfect because they already have these toddler bedside tables. And then we can have a little industrial lamp on this little table. Oh, and we can't forget the plushies on the bed, obviously. Oh, there's a lullaby hanging mobile. Okay, it's only gonna be able to fit here. It's kind of gonna dangle above your head. Okay, it might hit you in the head, but it's okay. Okay, and then over here, I wanna have like a study desk. I don't think a toddler would be studying, but I don't know, you never know. What I usually do is I put like a laptop or like a book on the study desk. This time we can have a jigsaw puzzle. That's what they can be doing. There's some random stuff on the floor. I mean, toddlers are messy, you know? Oh, look how cute I am. Why do I kind of look like Boss Baby? Me as a toddler, I literally look like Boss Baby. Okay, so good news is the inside of the toddler's house is done. So now we just have to do the roof. Okay, so we need the outline of the roof. So we're just gonna lay this baseball down. Okay, the only difficult thing that I'm struggling with now is the roof because somehow I have to make it like look good. Okay, so we've got like the outline of the roof done. Now we just have to fill in these gaps because as you can see, it's kind of empty. And then once we put the horizontal wedges, we just paint it the same color as the wall. And there we go. We got a cute little roof going on. I really want to add a garden here. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, there we go. Look how cute that garden is. Now, finally, the thing that I really wanted to add here is a little mini vehicle. It's just which vehicle should we add? Little wheels, cruising convertible, or we can have this little crawler. Actually, this crawler is kind of cute. Okay, so I think I'm just going to use this off-road crawler. That's such a cute name for it. And then well, I don't know where to put this car. I guess we can just put it at the front. And then what color should we have it? We basic and just have a white Jeep. Okay, so our toddler house is all finished and it comes to a total of 34,000. That is not bad at all. I genuinely thought it would be so expensive because of all the basic shapes, but that is really cheap. Only 34,000, damn. This toddler is living in luxury. So let's make our way inside. Now this is how the outside turned out and oh my gosh this looks honestly beautiful like for a toddler's house yes ma'am so i just added this cute little like walking stepping stone and can we even drive these cars oh we can look at this oh my god i'm gonna crash <gasps> 
I just crashed the car. You can see we added a very cute garden and these flowers look humongous. Okay, so let's make our way in, shall we? Now, obviously this isn't a real door, it's just made out of basic shapes. This is how the inside turned out and oh my gosh, this is adorable. So I decided over here could be like the little toy section and here's like our lounge room. So we have our bean bags, which is just adorable. And we've also got this gallon of milk, which is just technically an oil bottle. And then we've got our massive TV. I know I was saying how this TV was small, but like as a toddler, it's huge. And I really love this lamp. And then over here, we've got the toddler bathroom. Guys, look how tiny I am. Like this toilet paper is like as big as my face. Okay, and I added a sink. And honestly, the sink is that big to me. It could also work as like my bath. Okay, so coming over here, this is kind of like the drawing section, the little artist corner. We've got a few paintings, few crowns, our beautiful Gordon Ramsay painting. I actually painted that myself. It's not a picture. I painted it. And then coming over to the right, we have the kitchen and the dining room. And this is genuinely like, I'm not even joking. It looks so nice. Like, look how nice this kitchen looks. Like the marble countertops of the gold accents is just so nice. And then we have our miniature island bench <laughs> with our massive gallon of milk again. And then over here is our dining table. You're too old to do this. I'm too old? Wait, what? Apparently I'm too old to sit in here. Okay, anyway, coming back here, finally, we've got the bedroom. As you can see, lots of mess on the floor. So we've got our desk over here. So instead of books, I just added like puzzles and interactive games, which is pretty cool. And then over here, we have our custom made bed. Now you can't actually sit in it. Oh my gosh, what is happening right now? Oh my gosh, I think I just broke it. This probably wasn't the safest option putting this right above my head. Like I don't even think I can sit down without like knocking my head into this. But yeah, that is my toddler house all complete. I think the inside and the outside of the house turned out so cool. If you want to see me do like another challenge like this, definitely comment it and let me know. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on that bell notification to get notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!